Hi, in our previous video we have seen what is the meaning of uh, composition and what is the meaning of association. In this video let's understand what is the meaning of aggregation. So aggregation is a special form of association that is one object is getting associated with another object but here what happens is the associating object okay when it associated with the owner object so when the owner object is destroyed it does not really affect the associated object first I'll give you an example to understand it in a better way let's example let's say a driver object is associated with the car object okay both are two different objects one is driver object and the other one is car object but in this case if the car object is destroyed it's not going to affect the driver object or in another way if the driver object is destroyed it is not going to affect the car object both can live independently correct huh? if if like if, you know if uh, uh, the car object is destroyed uh, will the driver cry definitely no he is going to take another car and drive it similarly when the driver is gone car will not cry whoever comes a new driver can drive the same old car so this uh, association or this this form of association is called as aggregation so this we call it as loose coupling that is when one object is affected it's not going to affect another object when that is affected it's not going to affect this object one more example for aggregation let's say this watch object is associated with me I am one object this watch is one object if any modifications made or if anything happens to this object that's to me it's nothing to affect my watch right so similarly if something happens to watch it's not going to affect me I'm going to just throw this watch I'm going to buy another watch so the relationship between this watch and me is called as as aggregation this association form is called as aggregation similarly are thousands of examples we can give if button object which is associated with the shirt object if something happens to shirt nothing will happen to button button can still exist independently it can exist so if something happens to button still a shirt can exist so you replace that old button with another button so this relationship is called as aggregation so now let us understand with a simple example along with the memory diagram how I explained in the previous diagram and in the previous session in the same way I write one more diagram along with the code and I'm going to explain you we have understood what is the meaning of aggregation the same I'm going to demonstrate with the program the example which I'm going to explain is the car and the driver so both are associated with each other that is the driver is associated with the car or in another way the car is associated with the driver so car is one object driver is one object if something happens to car definitely it is not going to affect the driver so since there are two objects I need to have two classes because the object cannot be created without the class okay just observe I have a class called as car I have a class called as car maybe simple example I take uh, one of the state of the car called model car has a model called alto some model XYZ model of the car now this is one class Okay. now I write one more class called as driver I have a class called driver and driver may have some properties example the string name of the driver string name of the driver maybe and um, some some uh, int age of the driver int age of the driver okay now I need to associate car with the driver okay now observe car C 
I represent it as car C. Here C is not, that is car is not in uh, double or boolean, rather car is class type. Car itself is an object. But if you carefully observe, I am terminating it here and I am not initializing it. So I can say a driver class has three properties state uh, three states that is name age and then c stands for car and the car class has one property called model now i write one more program called test program i write it here this is not initialized it's not initialized very important Fine. Now, I write a class called as test class. Class called as test class. Okay. With again public static void main method to run the program. With the string array as an argument. String array as an argument. Now, I represent the memory diagram. Let's say here is the memory location. This is called heap memory where all the objects are stored in Java. Okay. Now, carefully if you observe, I'm going to create an object of driver. Driver D equal to new driver new driver if we run this program an object of driver is created because i'm calling the constructor with the new keyword hence driver object is created in the memory okay class name is driver memory location 74 uh, dda some some hexadecimal value now the moment when i create a driver object now please observe the driver code in the driver class we have two properties okay in the driver class we have two properties called as name and age so these two properties along with one more property called c totally three properties are shared in the memory that is name is created is it initialized in the class no hence it is initialized to null age is created it is initialized to zero because integer and then c it is not initialized in the class called driver hence it is initialized to a value called null carefully observe what is the meaning driver does not have the name no age and no car also now what do i do i initialize the driver properties in my test code i just say d dot name driver name some driver name okay john john and i just say driver dot age driver dot age let's say he is 35 year old now what happens in the memory is the null value become john now okay and the age become 35 but the car is still null it means to say null means nothing so driver does not have the car as of now now i write observe i write one more car object because car object is not at present for a driver the car object is required okay or before i associate the car object with the driver object i need to have the car object with me okay now observe d is a, a reference variable which is referring to this object which is referring to the object correct now i create an object of car car cr equal to new car 
it's a separate object i am not at associated the car object with the driver object it's a separate object now what happens cr is a reference variable which refers to an object called car object car class and some memory location 34a e6 some just i'm taking randomly some number now uh, a variable called model is created and the value called alto is assigned correct now what is the value of cr cr value is car at the rate 34 a e6 that is cr stores the address of the car now very important thing i'm going to associate car with the driver that is driver dot c d dot c observe driver means d means driver class driver class has the property called c hence d dot c equal to cr now what is the meaning of cr if you observe again the memory the value of cr is 34 ae6 when you say d dot c d is this object d dot c is this earlier the value was null now the latest value is car at the rate 34 ae6 that is the c value is this now what happens is this object that is driver object is associated with the car object now please observe the car object has two references very very important the car object has two references one reference is called cr another reference is d dot c basically there are two references present okay now let me destroy the d object okay that is the owner object is d object associated object is car object the associated is car that is car object is associated with the driver object hence driver object is the owner object okay or the main object now i'm going to destroy this d i make d equal to null d equal to null cr reference is still pointing to the car object but i just dereferred this object called d so now d is dereferred very very important d is dereferred the moment when d is dereferred so this object which is there in the heap memory is eligible for garbage collection so when it is eligible for garbage collection the garbage collector deletes this particular object when the garbage collector deletes this object this object is that is the owner object is destroyed owner object is deleted but observe the JVM does not delete this object why because this object still have the reference so the conclusion is that if the driver object so called owner object is destroyed the car object or an associated object is still alive so the deletion of or modification of the owner object it does not affect the associated object so this relationship between the car object and the driver object is called as aggregation it is as simple as it aggregation always promotes loose coupling that is when one object is destroyed it does not affect the other object okay it is as simple as it